Hi, this is Debs for Calm. I'm here in sunny Liverpool with Lulu and the boy. We have Lou, Lou, and Roy, who is the boy. Um, so, guys, this is pretty much the Sound City Sunday hangover. I mean, how's your weekend been? Oh, it's been cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely the um, tender day of the festival. But um, oh, it's been amazing. I've seen such fantastic um, music over the weekend. Um, I'd been to a lot of gigs for a while and I've been a bit disheartened to be honest. I'd not been finding anything that made me really excited and happy. And I've seen at least like seven bands over the weekend that have absolutely blown me away. So it's just really, really good to know that it's in Liverpool on your doorstep and it's really good to be a part of it. And considering it is like the kind of the Sunday after the festival before, you guys are sounding pretty fresh today. How's uh, the gig here at Liverpool One? It's been pretty chilled out, hasn't it? It's been been really nice, um, well organised, and like um, the sound was really good. You know, it was um, it was re really nice to play it. Yeah, the weather hasn't helped have, have us out a bit more today. It's a bit chilly, but um, apart from that, it's brilliant. It didn't rain though. Yeah, it didn't rain. It did rain, and I got a well cut in it on I think the Friday night. Yes. That was that was hard. It was just like quick, get to another venue. Whereas, whereas today, you know, it's been all right. It started off well and the rain's held off and I really enjoyed myself. It was, it's the biggest stage we've played on, which um, is, a, is a new experience. Because Certainly the highest. The highest. It was like that. You, you, were on a, you were on your own special stage at the back. Just yeah, that was it. Um, so for those who are not initiated into the world of Lulu and the Boy, tell us a bit, a bit. I know. Can you imagine? Could you tell us a bit about your sound, where you come from? Who are you? Who's going to go for this one? <laughs> okay. Um, well, oh, how did how did it all begin? I come from a mixture of backgrounds, which is why our sound is kind of a, a blend of a few things. Really, we've all had um, different experiences, different musical experiences. Like my background's been from I've been in a lot of sort of grunge and sort of heavy rock bands, and also I've played in like you know, 60s cabaret bands and stuff like that as well. So I've had a right mixture of things, which has helped me in a way because it's helped sort of adapt to the sort of styles that, you know, we're, we're trying to do. It's such a strange combination because most of the time you sort of, you have your, your stuff. So if you're in a, if you're in a grunge band, you, you stick with the grunge guys and, and you'll, you'll just form different bands over the years with different people. Whereas, yeah, like I said, we've all came from different, different disciplines really but for the fact that we've actually came together it's it's sort of the thing that makes people it's familiar but you don't it's like you feel like you've heard it before but you haven't but it's not in a way that is it's it's its own thing and it's it's very accessible to a lot of people and I think because it isn't in a specific genre everybody's sort of allowed to like it and it's got permission to like it because I, I've got friends of mine if they're into R&B they can't like indie oh Oh, it's like blasphemy, you know, whereas we, we, you can't put us into a category, so you, you can't do that with us. Yeah, I think that's one thing we try and, um, we try not to do too much is we don't have really strict rules when we're putting songs together. We, we you know, we, we know what sound we like, but we, we will always try different things, you know, so we're, we're quite flexible with, you know, we're trying out, trying out new stuff. And um, I think the thing that makes us a little bit, unusual is because we're a three piece but because we all sing and we got you know we do a lot of work on our vocal harmonies it kind of fills out the sound you know so even though we're just drums bass and guitar there's a there's a lot more going on as well with the vocals we have three more instruments as in yeah, our vocals exactly. and we like to like try and use them as much as possible to do that plus harmonica yeah yeah we've got it's a bit of a star harmonica playing drummer <laughs> you know. I, I, I might have been an octopus in a previous <laughs> life or something. i don't know <laughs> skill set to have so um but just finishing off where can we see you next oh we're doing the Wirral festival uh, on yeah, the, the Wirral festival of first is quite as like a cool little festival going on in the Wirral, and that's on july the 7th it's in hoy yeah. is it is that the one in, in hoy lake hoy lake yeah, lake, yeah. It's a really nice place as well um, what time are we on uh, it's it's around the four o'clock mark yeah, four yeah. yeah. If you look up and the then festival, you'll find us on the yeah 
because we've got a shoot after play some gig in a castle after that, haven't we? But that's yeah, we've been hired to play in a castle <laughs> in Bromborough. Like, that's a pretty yeah, good um, really looking forward to playing that one. And apparently, there'll be free alcohol, which is the best <laughs> thing about it. It's like you didn't need to pay us, you could have just given us that, and we'd have been like, okay, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to what you don't want to broadcast that. <laughs> no, no, yeah, the way to get Lulu and the boy at your gig is just buy them with alcohol. Um, I think that's a good place to leave it. I've been Devs with Calm with Lulu and the boy.